G'day and welcome back to our Danish Bloodbath campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. So we've sent the cavalry out from Nurkjöping and we'll have a quick look to see if that'll work or not. Taking here because he's got low organisation, here because he's got low manpower, there because it's empty, and here because... I don't know, might as well. Not going to get this guy moving yet in case he gets locked in this battle and they attack in. Particularly since that guy's busy, so we can't lose this little province. Alright, that is green across the board, which means... We need to get away from that guy. So he'll come back down. Yep. He'll retake that. That will defend Nurkjöping. Good. New hit attack. So baiting his guys into offensive actions that will reduce his manpower is the way we want to go. We're now defending there so we can't actually pop down there. That's okay. The more he pushes on this against the four guys that are still doing it, the better. Alright, as soon as we finish that defense, they push down and come back. Actually, while you're there, just help out with this one. We could push on him again, but because we have zero manpower, we need to be careful about throwing away perfectly good men. Alright, this is proving too costly, so we just pull them back. It's just weakening him that matters. We don't actually want to take any land down here or anything. We'll just stretch our line even thinner trying to hold it. That is now going badly, so we'll pull back. That's going incredibly badly as well. So the best guy we've got will move forward. Alright, green across the line. Good. This guy is coming back already. It's just waiting for these defense to finish. Still missing the battle marker up there. Alright, he's still got just as many men down here. The other problem we'll hit is that his um, manpower comes up faster than us. We only get 75 men per month. He's bound to have a lot better. Um, yeah, better support weapons. Sound good. Such a stalemate. But hopefully the Soviets will declare war on Finland sometime soon and just take the opportunity to march straight past. I assume Sweden would march through to attack them. So that will draw off a lot of men. And all that we're trying to do is capture Stockholm itself. Occupy it. So the annoying thing here is we can't see how it's going. As long as this is green, that's the most important. Weakened his manpower all across there. And we do have our planning bonus as well, because we've set it up even though we're not using it. Same with these guys. Except for you. Probably been under attack the whole time, he's never had the chance to build up his planning bonus. Okay, it's all green. It's going to speed 5 for a while. They're just going to keep throwing their men away. It's good. The unfortunate thing is that the Stockholm defender isn't actually taking part in this, so he's always going to be full strength. They keep getting weaker and weaker, so do we, but not as quickly as them, hopefully. Alright, infrastructure effort. Let's keep pushing down, try and get the extra research slot. Alright, better infantry equipment. That will make quite a substantial difference. Um, we don't care about heart attack or piercing, but we do care about this. It'll take another year. Looks like this war is going to drag out, so yeah, we'll take that. Infantry equipment 1 goes for infantry equipment 2. 9 per day isn't great, but we're just going to be replacing stuff anyway. Uh, reinforcements first, then upgrades, yes. A while until anything else finishes. Let's go up to speed 5. 
Copenhagen's looking fine. Doing perfectly well up here. Maybe in here, planes. I think we'd still rather defend it instead of falling back and then retaking it. Alright, modify the government with who? Tank guy, ship guy, aircraft guy. We don't really have an air force. We don't really have submarines or anything. That's right, we're going to do war economy. Well, it would be great to actually get more men. And we could slaughter him. Alright, let's jump into that now. Then we'll do the um, war economy next. So, 40k. We'll go for... Let's take a look at... Uh, the speed, what do we care about? Soft attack and breakthrough. 33-12 versus... That's right, they've added this in. Um, yeah, we're just going to want them. Don't know how many we're going to actually be able to do. Four, apparently. But if we can get them out, that would be good. I guess make them in Shelland. Just the one. I'll be ready 21st of April. I get we can wait that long. It's not too bad. Still got towed artillery and everything in reserve as well. Good. Okay. We'll ship them directly up here and then they'll just punch through these guys now they're so weak. Alright, North Shipping. Looking good. Unnamed province in Svealand is looking good. China capitulated. Hopefully Japan doesn't attack Soviet Union because that would end this game very quickly. Soviet Union calling us in and then them joining the Reich in the Axis. Hmm. Right, still looking good and green everywhere. When are we waiting for? 21st of April. Alright, Japanese war has ended. Done with infrastructure, give us our extra research slot. Thank you very much. Germans claim Mamel. What are they working on now? Unknown focus. Partisan suppression. Alright. Mobile defense. So, next up, dispersed for line artillery. Or better soft attack for support battalions and organization. Not too tough a choice. Looks like he's oh, still attacking. So he looks like he's um, wisened up and stopped his suicidal assaults, but now he's going to keep doing them. These ones are the most suicidal. We just keep pushing him back into the water. All right, support weapons three. Way too far ahead of time for the rest of them. Could do marines. That doesn't actually use any additional guys, but we've already landed, so it's not that important. Land Doctrine was either or, yep. Engineering, we could go for better reinforcement. Better research time, probably more important at the moment. All right, he's got extra troop defending his capital now. That's starting off so low, I don't really appreciate, but at least they're all weak. All right, Reign of Terror effects are gone. How are we looking? Holy crap. All right. Well, we have been working on Norway as well. How are they doing? 41% and Germany 35%. I doubt that's even increasing anymore. 0.01 something per day. Hmm. Well, we do still need the political power for our, what do you call it, economic law. We're still doing absolutely everything. Soviets haven't even sent one guy over. 
Ooh, Hungary's joined the Axis. Okay, um, can't do the extra research slot two, so let's just go for the extra civilian factories. Extra research slot we'll use for the reinforcement, right? And weren't these guys ready soon? 21st. Zog submits. <clears throat> Alright, as long as it stays green, we've got nothing to worry about. Waiting on the 21st. When those extra guys come out, we'll ship them immediately over there. Alright. These four. New division. And... Mm, this guy is actually improving pretty quickly. So, no. Stay as you are. But, if we try and tell you to come to the port, you're going to be an idiot and try and attack. So if we throw together a naval invasion from Odensee to North Kipping, would that actually happen? Looks like it will. Okay. It's probably a way to force them to do it. Maybe if we sent them there first and then sent them there. You know. It's fine, there's no hurry. We can wait. What's that? Twenty five more days? And they'll get over there and then we'll join them into this, but then we'll manually control them to push up and around, get an encirclement on Stockholm and then march in. It's only four provinces to Stockholm since this one isn't joined. It'll be easy because we're going to have planning, well we won't have a planning bonus, but we'll have full manpower and everything. Oh, crap. Well, it'll go well. <laughs> Alright, they're on the way. Do, 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 do. Alright, and they get in just in time to help out with the defense. No, again, they're just after. But they automatically spread to the entire line. That's interesting. Alright, we're going to shorten their line to there and there, but not there. So then they get up into this province. We will actually wait for their planning bonus because I don't think there's any reason not to. So they're not going to automatically start it. It'll take them a while if they keep coming under attack. It's looking alright. Computing machine. Let's get some decryption. Or do we have anything that would help? It takes too long. That takes too long. Yep, decryption is going to be the way to go. And yes, we need to attach them to that. Hmm. Maybe wait until they're ready to go. Then we'll switch it over to get his 15% attack and defense bonus. Let's try and make sure we remember. Alright. Go to speed 5 until this is ready. It's June of 39. Germany's about to do something nasty. Hopefully not to the common turn. They'd get the anti common turn pact, but then he went alliance with Russia, I think. Italy and Germany are trying to be friendly, and we've finished that branch, we've finished these branches. Next up, army effort, I guess. Italy's joined the Axis. France are doing stuff, and it's starting to look a lot more dangerous. So what are you doing? Still an unknown focus. Yeah, we can't see anything down there. Alright, these four. Uh, not ready yet. Their defensive holdings are still fine. He's still being a complete idiot. Alright, they're ready. So, these four pop onto this. 
but then we still have them. Has no orders assigned, that is true. But we don't care. So we have to wait for this defense to finish, and then we can push up. Crap, we have to go around there. Which means we're going to have to actually try and hold all of that. Hmm. Alright. We will just try and get the encirclement. And then attack. But half of them will start the attack immediately from there. See how well this works. I can already see it going really badly. Tomorrow we can grab the next thing. All right, let's at least slow down their retaking of this area. Alright. Let's go for war economy. Unless we could boost this. We can. Okay. We can jump up to extensive conscription. It's more important to do right now. A ton more manpower. Yeah, we're going to have to defend all these along the way. We're going to lose supply when they come in and break it. But if we can spread out and take it fast enough to do this, maybe the supply will come through here somehow. Alright, we are defending this guy. Can't be told to do the attack. Can get one of these guys to attack from another direction. He can't. Assume there's encirclement. Yep, good. We can hold him off because he's got law organisation and everything everywhere. This guy is trying to do that. Can't stop him. Alright, if we push out here, could be good. There we go with Stockholm. Achievement unlocked. Party like it's 1520. Nice. That didn't take too long. Three military factories. Scored three for taking Stockholm. Need upgrades, so we'll just put them all into there. And then everybody on this line needs to be attached to this front. But we will grab these guys and spread them out a little like this. <clears throat> His fleet comes out and immediately destroy our fleet. <laughs> okay. Should have realised they were hiding in Stockholm. Oh, we don't need our fleet anymore anyway. Can move up there. Could actually probably just take him everywhere, really. Hmm. Is he going to pull back? He probably will pull back soon. Unread naval battle results. Yes, how badly did that go? Well, the Soviets are there as well. Apparently we only lost one sub. Weird. Alright, his low organisation, that's a river crossing, we don't want to do that. This guy wants to move forward though. Moving in there, that defence is okay. While he is weak, we will move forward. Green across the line. Now he's doing the river crossing penalty. No division in basic training. Well, yeah, we could actually train a few more guys now, couldn't we? Nine would be about enough. Let's train them in Shadowland, and they should automatically join Purple Army. Hmm, yeah, we still couldn't take that. We'll work our way down there. We've got Stockholm now, so we've got fantastic supply up here. We don't have to worry too much about any particular port. How many more planes have we lost? Yeah, half. Okay. One, two, three. Then we couldn't hold that. Let's have a go at doing this, though. We should be able to 
get back to the port faster than them. That's why we brought cavalry up. Be nice and quick about reacting to him getting through behind the lines. Alright, let's grab two of these to take this. We're going to probably hold along this river. Get over to Göteborg. Would be a bit of a mistake. Let's head up this way. It's got an organisation with him. They have no manpower, so if they do reinforce, we should be able to hold it anyway. Now, one of these guys can come up. Get the cavalry to help out, then go back. That's going to be a loss. Alright, let's forget that. He needs to come back to Nurshipping. Another battle underway. Nine submarines onto tons of other things. What was that down the bottom? We lost a heavy cruiser. Okay. Italy declares on Yugoslavia. Soviets shouldn't care about that, so we're not going to be at war with Germany yet. Let's join the Allies. Good. Boom. So we lost a little bit. Heavy cruiser, two submarines. Soviets lost a submarine. Ah, crap. Sweden's joined the Allies. Alright. Well, we've done what we wanted to do. Now we're at war with the Allies. That's not preferable. He's a long way off capitulating. So we'll probably get our ass kicked by the UK in a second. But... Mm, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hope to see you again soon. See you later.